With just days to go before Alberta chooses its next government, a controversial figure is taking aim at Premier and United Conservative Party leader Danielle Smith. Preacher Arthur Pawlowski, who was found guilty of mischief for encouraging truckers at the Coots border blockade, held a press conference today on the steps of the legislature to denounce Smith. This person is not representing our values. She is not conservative. She is as liberal an NDP as you can be. The nature of his relationship with Smith was called into question when a phone call between the two was made public in March. Pulaski and the Premier discussed the COVID-19 charges he was facing. And late last week, Smith was found guilty of violating conflict of interest rules in relation to that phone call. It's just one twist in an election campaign that Smith's NDP opponent says is all about trust. Heather Urex West is with me from Calgary. Heather, is this likely to sway voters who support the UCP? Well, Donna, Pawlowski may have been part of the group that helped Danielle Smith narrowly win the UCP leadership with promises for amnesty for COVID violators and rights protections for those opposed to vaccines. But he's not speaking for the majority of her longtime supporters in denouncing her today. Take Back Alberta leaders say he doesn't speak for them. Albertans, however, may still have questions about judgment. Why Smith took his phone call or spoke to the Justice Minister on Pulowski's behalf in the first place. And it's fair to wonder how much this latest strange twist will move undecided voters. It is simply wild that this is all circulating in the middle of an election campaign and while it has made a difference, uh, that's why the election is closed, it doesn't appear to be disqualifying. 